This is just a quick video to show you how I'm applying uh, some cold wax and oil to this surface, which is, um, it's mostly dry in some areas, but then in other areas, I just put some triangular forms here, uh, actually last night, and they're, they're somewhat, like some are drier than others, depending on how thickly I put them on. My process for this painting is I'm, I started with chaos in the play stage and now I'm proceeding on with more order. And I've cut out this template out of uh, this triangular uh, template that I made and I measured the painting and you know how big I wanted the triangles and it sets up a pattern of uh, organization over the total chaos. So what I'm doing is I'm laying the template over the painting and I'm creating this pattern with varying degrees of high key, either um, opacity or transparency, depending on what I'm going for. And since I did one set of um, triangles last night, I'm doing the other set right now. It's really the same process, varying the opacity and transparency. I'm finding that I really love my new studio. It's working out great. I've got less tables and things on the floor to stumble over and I feel like I'm more efficient this way. So I kind of just crease my template over the edge here just to keep it somewhat in place. But the most important thing is to have this newsprint lying as flat as possible. Just kind of crease it like that and then I gauge the rest as I go. I can just like pull on this. But the triangles are all cut out of this newsprint and then what I do is I, I have scored the panel so I, I can have more of a reference of where it goes. And then I can apply more tape where I need it to not move. So I'm mixing, um, again, here's my palette. It's just, um, I saved it from last night. This is just magic plastic, um, magic board, I guess it's called. Anyways, I forget the name. <laughs> but uh, so I've got, this is just my titanium white over here. And I'm going to, you know, put some here and start with just that. All right, now, I've got various tools set up here. I've decided just to um, set up my tools like this, and then I've got uh, this other wonderful idea for my palette knife and try it out today. This is really just a soap dish, but I find that these offset spatulas just land here perfectly so that if each one's full of a different color of, you know, paint, um, I can pretty much just set them on here and get them out of my workspace. So that's just another little tip. So I take my silicone spatula and I'm going to start out with like this white here. And I, again, I'm watching the transparency and opacity. I want there to be variation between all these different triangles. So first I just uh, come from the outer part of the template toward the center and that keeps the paint from slipping underneath the newsprint. That's the trick of um, working with these sort of masks or stencils that are made out of newsprint. You just have to, they work, they work very well with um, cold wax and oil, but you do have to, there's kind of a trick to it, not, not much of a trick. I just told you what the trick was, and that is to work from the outside in, pretty much. So I just have to kind of play with that a little bit and make sure. Okay, so that's pretty well in place, I think. I needed to scoot that over a little bit. So I first just put the paint on, get you know pretty good coverage, make sure I've gotten the whole triangle, and then. I will play with the opacity and transparency. Okay, there's the first one. I can kind of check on it. Yep, it's fine. And then what I try to do is go into some various uh, changes in the color. This one is going a little bit gray, and I know you can't really see that uh, in the video, but I'm trying to vary the color slightly while maintaining high key, which means a very light value. Okay, here's the gray. I'm just using the same silicone tool. 
These colors are pretty close. Well, they're very close in value and, you know, pretty close also in hue, which is color. But again, this one goes just a little gray. So I want slight, slight, subtle variations in color between these triangles, giving it kind of a shimmering effect. You know, they're not all the same, but it takes, you know, some sensitivity to notice that they are different, but you only maybe see that more or less up close. So just uh, checking, that's going well. Then I've got another gray that kind of goes a little bit yellow, and that's just white plus a little bit of this um, Indian yellow, so I can add a little bit more yellow to that. And for that I might switch tools. So first I, I took a gray actually and added some yellow and then if I want that to go lighter then I can grab a little bit more white and add it to that. For those in my master class, we've all been really working on our values, um, really understanding how to make a high key color, uh, middle, middle key color, and then the darks. This will be my yellowish gray. Just being a little bit cautious because some of these have this red stripe, which is not as completely dry as it could be. So when I put the paint over it, I need to be sure I'm a little bit careful knowing that it could smudge a little, but I'm not too worried about that because it's pretty well set up and I'm using a very light touch. Kind of holding the newsprint in place. And then I've got one more. So I'm looking at this is pretty transparent white, gray, pretty opaque gray, pretty opaque yellowish. Um, and I might go back to white over there. Let's see, I'll grab this one. There's white. Can you even play with gradation of, say, opacity to transparency and, and back the other way within these triangles? And I am doing that to a certain extent, or if I see an area that I really like, I might make that, like here, a little bit more transparent just by scraping back some of the paint. So then I can lift this up. I'm going to move this up. So now I've got you know, this is going, it's now like a diamond going that way and that way. Then I have to do this one. So same thing, I'm kind of looking, I have like this creamy yellow here. So I think what I'll do is grab maybe a gray, that gray and that's this one here, and put some of that here. All right, that's one, and then this one's a kind of a more opaque gray, so might go with a real nice white on that one. Okay, thinking about what I don't have over there is um, maybe a little darker gray. some yellow. So it's coming along and I've got the left panel is um, 
got the double set of triangles and that took me a couple of days to do because I had to wait for the first um, half of the triangle to dry and then I did the second half using my same template and on the right half I only have the first half of the triangle done so you can kind of see the difference I've tried to vary the the hue meaning the color of each half triangle some go a bit more yellow some are just completely gray some are white opaque some are white transparent and um, you know after this layer dries after these now they're diamonds but and they don't all line up I kind of like the fact that they're not perfectly done and you can kind of see how here they're more transparent and here they're more opaque and of course once the paints dry you can then alter that with sanding and you can also alter the um, transparency by adding more paint if you want and then you know there's these areas that are completely untouched I can paint back in there I can uh, add more saturation if I want to uh, the most important part for me in this layer is to conceal a bit of that red stripe that's going from left panel to right panel and back around again I didn't want that to be quite so intense but I did make it quite dark because I knew that when I went over it with these triangles that I would lose quite a bit of it so that's what's going on so far thanks everyone bye now